Aloha, it's Joseph, owner and operator, creator of the HO Scale Big Island Rail and Kwai Hai Harbor Railroad. And these two uh, fictional railroads are kind of based on the actual thing. The Hawaiian Consolidated Railway that operated up until the late 1940s on the Big Island of Hawaii. It was a nasty tsunami that wiped out Hilo, Hawaii, and much of the railroad's infrastructure, and they decided to just uh, call it good. But the Hawaiian Consolidated lives on on my HO scale railroad in a modern context. What I'd like to share with you uh, in this video is um, putting my car barge back together. As you'll see in the video, it was somewhat damaged, well, quite a bit damaged, uh, during a move a few years ago, and it sat on a shelf out in my workshop for uh, that entire length of time until I could figure out how to uh, piece it back together and utilize it as the uh, inner island car ferry for bringing interchange in to the big island in the Kwai Hai Harbor. So uh, follow along and I'll show you kind of what I did. It's not a total how-to, but just some highlights of um, what I did to patch it up, add the rails back on, paint it, and then uh, give it some weathering. So here you can see the unpainted, it's a Wathers car barge and uh, where some of the rails got pulled off and broke and a few other details snapped off. What I did on the barge deck was use a combination of code 83 rail and the plastic rail that's included with the car barge. Somewhere along the line, I lost a bunch of the sprues containing the plastic rail, but I used as much as I had easily glues onto the deck and the rail. I had to use some AC type adhesive to glue that down. For the base coat, I used a rattle can of flat black paint, giving it a, a quick and even coat just to get rid of the plastic and give it a base color as a lot of the barges are painted a flat black color. Once the base coat was dry, it was time to start adding some fading and some rust and signs of heavy use. I used this craft paint nutmeg color to achieve a nice medium rust color. Again, using the airbrush, I drew in with a very thin coat of uh, dark brown and dark black paint the uh, panel lines to separate, give some depth on the deck. And also using a, a medium gray color, very thin down, I uh, sprayed some of the panels with that color to give it a faded highlight. I added some uh, algae to the deck as well from standing water using a light green color thinned down. Also on the sides of the hull, I used thin washes of rust and some of that green as well. Using light gray acrylic and a brush, I simulated the nice, shiny, well-used tops of the rails just to give it the appearance of it actually being real rail and not plastic. And here's a shot of the completed barge deck. As you can 
can see uh, the effects of all the weathering and the splatters and rust and some algae growing on the deck. Plus, I also painted the barge tie downs and bullards a yellow safety color for higher visibility on those dark days. As you can see, I added some custom decals to my barge, including the name of the barge company, Young Brothers, which is an actual prototype barge company based in Hawaii that has inner island barge service between all the islands in Hawaii. Once that was completed, I attached it to the rail apron on the Kwai Hai Harbor barge slip area and it is ready to uh, receive and ship rail cars off the Big Island on the west side at Kwai Hai Harbor. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, the weathering on the barge, I'm not 100% uh, solid on how it turned out uh, when you look at it up close in the video, but actually when it's on the layout here, uh, you really don't notice some of the heavy-handed uh, weathering. It kind of uh, is just uh, basically a floating interchange yard on the layout so thanks again for watching thanks for subscribing to the channel appreciate it please leave some comments in the section below and until next time mahalo and aloha